Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 92 of What's That Pepper series. Today, I have a very special variety to show you, and this is my Staracha pumpkin. So this is a very neat variety that I grow every season for just one purpose, and that is for Halloween. Uh, I know this is a little bit after Halloween now, but I did carve uh, some faces into these guys here for Halloween, and uh, I've left these for about uh, over a week or so, so they're a little bit older, so not as fresh as uh, freshly picked. Um, I've sent a bunch of these seeds out to people, so uh, I think many people are growing this right now. Uh, the one person for sure is Peter, Peter Stanley, and uh, he grows some of the most amazing peppers and uh, he also grows the Staracha pumpkin so <clears throat> uh, the one he has that he sent me looks very very similar to these and as soon as he sent them to me I ate them all because they're really really good and um, the heat is very low so um, they're great snacking pepper and um, they look good and they're great fun for Halloween you can carve faces into them like jack-o-lantern and all that stuff so uh, let's go take a look at the pepper plant. Uh, it doesn't really look that good right now because uh, it's really cold. And uh, when the weather dropped to uh, in the 30s, it dropped all of the flowers. So this variety is a little bit more sensitive than all of my other varieties. So I'll show you when we go take a look. All right, guys, here is the pepper plant that produced the pumpkin, uh, Staracha pumpkin. And you see here is what is left of it. I collected all of the larger pods already. So these are the small tiny ones that remain. And as soon as I pick the larger ones off, these they were green and they ripen up quickly. So I have a few over there. So it's not a very good looking plant right now. Um, it's actually, uh, I, I, I didn't have anywhere to put it. So I placed it inside this uh, container with the, with the lemon. So this is all that it produced, but I really wanted just a few so that I can get seeds out of them. So that is the plant right there. So uh, let me show you the rest of what, a brief of what the, uh, the garden looks like right now, just so you can see. See, I still have those Santaka. See how, how they're doing really well, even uh, when it's cold. And that is my uh, Linzo crossed with a Sangria. And that here, you see all the leaves are gone. That is my um, scotch brain. So here's a scotch brain. Pretty pepper. Uh, lots of fruits right there, but the leaves are all gone. So I have some over there. It's also damaged by frost, you see here. So the leaves are all dead. And here, lemon starburst. Not looking good either. So the they're dying, so uh, here's another look at my sangria cross with the Linzo. So, uh, alright guys, let's go inside and take a look at the, the Staracha pumpkins. Alright guys, here is a closer look at the peppers and they look just like the pumpkins. So uh, initially when I grew these uh, uh, pumpkin habanero, they're very small and really really cool looking. Uh, but I wanted them a little bit bigger and uh, maybe with some added heat. So this is uh, what came out of it. It gotten bigger over the years. So it's about three times as large as it was originally. So um, it, it tastes really good as well. So let's take a look inside. I'll cut it open. So this is what it looks like inside. It has a really nice thick wall, a good amount of seeds there, a good sized pepper. Doesn't have that much of a, a, a pepper smell. It smells a little tropical, but very hint, uh, just a slight hint of it. So a uh, nice overall pepper. So let's have a taste at it. All right, guys, I took the gloves off because these are not very hot. So I, I really don't need them. 
um, Staracha pumpkin. So originally was an ahi. Uh, I think they're probably not ahi, but they're um, pumpkin habanero. They're really tiny and small. Uh, so I grew them a few years ago, and they're they're super small. But I really like the way they look and taste, so I wanted them a lot a little bit bigger. So I bred them with my um, MOA Scotch bonnet that was sit sitting right next to it. And it came out, uh, there were actually two colors. Uh, one is yellow and one is orange. Uh, the yellow one is a little bit bigger than this and um, it's also a little hotter. And I think I may have gotten the red uh, variety as well, I think somewhere. So I'll have to check to see if I have seeds for the red one, I'm not, I'm not sure. So uh, let's have a taste. So it smells very sweet. Almost like ahi smell. A little bit of that. Um, see, I can put it right next to my nose and, <laughs> because there's not much heat in here, even though the placenta is pretty big. So it reminds me of um, the starfish. The Brazilian starfish, because that's actually my favorite. If you guys never grown Brazilian starfish, look it up. They're fantastic peppers. You can just eat them. Okay, so uh, let's see. Mmm, very sweet. There's a little heat in there. Nice and crunchy. There's seeds, but the seed doesn't have a taste, which is good. Some seeds could be bitter, but not this one. Wow, the heat is kind of building right now. So it's almost uh, exactly as I want it. Something that tastes great, low heat. Looks good, and uh, you can have fun with this. Wow, the, I can feel the heat now. Yeah, there, there, there is heat in here. But nothing crazy, so... Unless you have a little sore on your tongue, then it might, it might hurt. But, um, decent amount of heat. I would say, um, like if you have eaten a, a jalapeno and it's slightly hot, that's like that. So, um, very great uh, crunchiness, good flavor, very sweet. Mmm, nice little aroma, good texture. They are best when you pick it right off the plant. I mean, pick it, wash it, and just eat it. That's when it's best. Because you get that nice, crunchy flavor. This one has been over a week old, so... A little softer than I would like. But, great flavor. Very comparable to the um, Brazilian starfish but a little bit hotter. So look at this. <laughs> Just imagine uh, putting these on uh, your, your like candy decoration with, uh, with some, some eyes in there, like a little pumpkin. Very neat. So uh, that is it guys. This is my Staracha pumpkin. Uh, fantastic variety for taste nice sweetness there's some heat you're gonna have heat all over your uh, your mouth and throat and throat area but they're manageable heat it doesn't have that bite that that kind of hurt you know so it's just like a a good heat and good flavor very sweet I really like that uh, doesn't have any uh, bitterness to it which is a, a great plus so um, you can eat this raw you can make it into a salsa I think these are great in salsa because it has a, a thick texture just remove the seed and just make salsa out of it. It'd be excellent. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, check out some of the seeds giveaway that I'm having right now so they can win some. I may do some seeds giveaway for these in the future because I really love them and I want to share with some people so you guys can grow and enjoy these as well. So anyway, look forward to that. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.